Alright guys, on the way to the pond this evening guys. Just got off work. We're about to rig up. We're about to show y'all how to rig up a donkey rig guys. And get on these bass guys. Y'all stay and tuned. I'm going to be showing y'all how I rigged up the donkey rig guys. How I rigged up donkey rig guys. Like I say, this is something that I've just recently just started using. Like I say, just yesterday, I really rigged it up for the first time. Donkey style way guys. Donkey style way. The way that I've seen it being rigged guys. And here's all you need to do this here guys. All you need is a pack of swivels, guys. Some burl swivels, whatever size that you figure that you need. Get them burl swivels, guys. You only need two of them, but you can get you a pack of them for a dollar and something at Walmart, guys. You're going to need some good size hooks, guys. Some good size hooks, some wide gap hooks, guys. I got some gone, I got two four all hooks. That's what I'm going to be using. And you got to have you some flukes, guys. You got to have you some flukes. I got these some super flukes right here, guys. That's what I'm going to be using. These right here. I got some white ones, too. But that's all you need. Just them three items. And we're going to get the rigging up, the donkey rig. Hey, guys, if you got that tied up, it's supposed to look just like this here. You got your back swivel here. And then you got this one swivel on there. It's just free flowing on your line right here, guys. Like I say, this is what you want right here. Okay, now you're going to take a, you're going to take these two swivels here, guys. And on this back swivel, you're going to tie a line. You're going to get you a piece of leader line, which I got some leader line right here that I'm going to use right here. And you're going to tie you a piece, a piece of leader line on the back right here. And you're going to tie you a piece of leader line on this one here. So you're going to have two separate lines here dangling, guys. And you're going to want this one here at the back, the one that's tied on here. You're going to want to have the longer leader on this one here. Whatever size leaders y'all want, guys. Like I say, any way is fine as long as you got one that's longer than the other one so the flukes can stay kind of apart from each other guys it's gonna look like what it's gonna look like you got your two leader lines on here got my one on the back here tied on and one right here on this sliding swivel got it tied on and i haven't measured these guys i, don't, I haven't measured these i'm gonna be honest with you i'm not gonna pull my ruler out and measure a 12 inch or 15 inch or 16 inch leader and a six inch leader. i'm not gonna do that guys i'm just gonna go here i'm gonna find the bottom one here and I'm gonna go down so far. I said, well, hey, that looks like a pretty good spot right there to have that last one. I'm gonna clip it off right here. Look, I'm gonna clip it off right there. And my second one, I want it shorter than this long one. So I'm just gonna go down it so far, maybe halfway, halfway of my longer one. And I'm gonna clip this one off. I'm gonna clip it off. I'm gonna clip it off right here. Boom. And there you go. You got two leaders, one short and one long. And now I'm gonna tie a hook on the end of each one of these leaders, guys. And we're gonna put a flukes on there and we're gonna be fishing hey here. Guys, we got bit. it rigged up here. Got two hooks on here now, guys. I got two hooks on here. Now as you can see, one hook's kind of bigger than the other. I got the I got a one all gamagatsu hook on the front and a four out on the back, guys. I'm throwing y'all a little curveball here. Usually the donkey rig has both the same sizes on here, maybe. Both of them. I was gonna fish both with the four outs, both with the big flukes, but I'm gonna put a small fluke up front on the shorter line and a big fluke on the back, you know what I'm saying, on this bigger hook, guys. It kind of were, you know, making a little bit different presentation, trying something a little bit different, guys. We're going to tie the flukes on these there. flukes on, guys. I'm just hooking these flukes up a normal Texas rig style. Some people use the drop shot methods, hooking these right here flukes up, which that's fine, too, if you're not fishing with a lot of cover around. I'm going to be fishing. There's some cover right where I'm fishing at. There's going to be some cover and everything. So I'm hooking this fluke up. I'm hooking this here little fluke up. Well, half my tail's gone on this here thing. I'm going to have to put another one on there. But I'm hooking this here fluke up. This say Texas rig, and this other one, guys, I'm going to do it the same way. This bigger fluke, I'm going to hook it on there. Texas rig, guys, the super salty fluke. It says albino on here. That's what the pack says. I showed you in flukes here that I got. And I'm just going to hook this one on here, too. Texas rig style with this right here as well. Straight through the middle. Come out the tip of it right there, guys. I know y'all might y'all y'all probably know the drill on this here. I'm pretty sure y'all want to know this here drill. Okay. And there we go. Voila. Now we got... We got right now, guys, is what we call the donkey, guys. Got the little little one up front, the big one at the back. Like I said, I little modified that a little bit. It's supposed to be in the same size, but we're going to change it up, guys, and see how that works. Now we're going to get the fish. All right, guys, we're about to put this donkey on them, guys. We got it rigged up. We in the order, and we're about to do some fish. About to get ready to witness a fish catching right here, guys. You're getting ready to witness. These are some pretty spots right in here, guys, too. Some beautiful spots. Mm. Skipping them shad across the water. So they got the modified donkey rig on, guys. Junior on the front, big fluke on the back. Like I said, we're gonna see if we can work one of these big ones out of here for y'all guys. Yeah, we're gonna see if we can work a big one out of here for y'all guys. Let's get another skip. Let's get under these bushes right here. 
Ooh, yes. Right under that tree. See that right there, guys? See there? That one was chasing some shad or something right there. I'm gonna throw right in there on top of him, guys. I don't know if y'all seen him when he hit the water. And I'm pretty sure he's gonna hit. There he goes, guys. There he goes. There he is, guys. I threw right. <laughs> he was chasing. That bass was chasing. He was chasing something, guys. He was chasing. He busted up at another. He busted up at. Oof. First fish, guys. Right, guys, he killed that fluke, guys. He busted that fluke. He got that back fluke, guys, on the donkey rig, guys, on the donkey rig. Like I said, it felt good, too. I seen him. I seen him chasing another. He was chasing another bait fish, some kind of fish he was chasing, running after him. I threw this fluke up in there, guys, made a couple pops. Boom, he was on there, guys. Like I say, first bass off the donkey rig today, guys. Stay tuned for some more action. Guys, I'll be there some more down in there. We're going to get back up in there. Let's give it a little skip. Oof. Like I say, them right y'all flukes mimic some, some bait real good on top of the water, guys. Mimic some bait real good. Skipping, flu fluttering across the water. Like I say, we're going to try to pull a bass out of here on this donkey rig, guys. Like I say, that, seeing that bass chasing chasing that bait like that, guys, it just, it is got me feeling good right now because I believe we is going to get some bass in here today, guys. We're going to get some, some good quality bass in, bassing in today, guys. Some good quality bass in the day. And like I said, I'm fishing this little opening right there. There he goes, guys. There he is. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, this might be a little bit bigger one. He's a, he's a, he's a fight hard, guys. He's a nodding that head. What we got here? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Come here, baby. Come here, donkey. Another donkey bass, guys. Another donkey bass. Get in the boat. Woohoo! Yeah. Yes. Another donkey bass, guys. Yes. All right, guys. We just pulled another nice and out of this bass. Nice bass too, guys. Like I say, nice bass. Just a, that second cast, I believe I made like two other casts, guys. And this right here jumped on in that same spot. I just pulled that previous bass out of, guys. And like I say, hit the fluke. Nailed it real good, guys. All right, guys. Y'all just seen me pull that other bass up right out of there, guys, with this donkey rig too, guys. It hit the back fluke again, guys. That's the one he went for. Still got my swimming fluke on the front, guys. And like I say, this here one stays like the second cast after I just caught that other bass, guys, back in that same spot, guys. Like I say, I see some bait fish hitting the top of the water and a little lot of movement right here in this area, so I know these bass, there's multiple bass down there. I'm gonna keep circling around, and we're gonna keep circling around, and we can see if we can get some more bass up out of there too, guys, with the donkey rig, guys. We'll get back at y'all with some more action. I'm hung with one, I'm hung with one, I've got one in the water. Hung with one, got one in the water, guys. We see, we see if we can work one out of here. <laughs> Let me get up out of here. Probably got that be messed up big time. Guys, we're back at it. I had to get out of that spot back there I was in. I got hung up, guys, and kind of messed that spot up that I was in. I got all on top of it. We're gonna fish around the bank a little bit more here on this outside edge, and we're gonna see if we can pull one of these bass out of here, guys. All right, guys, got the donkey rig on here, guys. We're gonna get back up in here. See if we can get one of these bass out of here for y'all. Say so we're gonna working it down this edge right here. This donkey rig. Like I said, I gotta say, guys, I'm still quite impressed with this rig, guys. I am quite impressed with this right here rig, guys. Like I said, if you, I wish I could point this camera down in the water, y'all could actually see these see these flukes with me. Let me see if I can do that. All right, guys, I'm going to bring, bring these flukes right here across the screen here, guys, and show you kind of how they're working. That's what we got kind of going on, guys. These flukes here got some amazing action in the water, guys. And like I say, I got the swimming one on the front, guys, the swimming fluke on the front, the junior, and the super fluke on the back, guys, regular super fluke on the back, guys. Um, like I say, got some good action to them, guys. I mean, I'm very impressed with them, and we about to, we about to get back. We about to get back and go to fishing, guys. See if we can pull one of these big ones out of here for y'all. Four gets done. Up in this here spot here, guys, with the double flukes. I'm about to get back around there to my other spot that I that y'all see me pull them two bass in from, guys. 
I kind of missed that spot up. I kind of got hung up in there, kind of drifted right in the spot that I was fishing, kind of missed it up there for a second. So I'm going to give it a little while, and I'm going to go back there, guys, and see if I can get it out of there. As we're back at it with the donkey rig, guys, coming down this edge here, like, say, a few minutes right before. Ooh. Ooh, had one to jump at it, guys, right time and hit the water, guys. Had one to blow up at it. But he missed. How'd he miss him? He missed him, though. Let's see if he'll pick him back up, guys. Let's see if he'll pick him back up. All right, guys, we're back at it. We, we're approaching the spot now where I caught them two, them two bass at just a while ago. We're getting back up on this spot here now, guys. So get prepared to see another, another bass get snatched up in here in the boat, guys. Back if we in here, guys, I say I got a real good feeling that we're gonna pull. There he goes, there he is, guys, there he is, another knife. Oh, yes, oh, yes, another knife. Now, this same spot, guys, the fish are holding in this spot. I am telling you, this is a knife. Oh, yeah, this is a knife, guys. Oh, shit, this is a good size. Let's go. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yes, baby. Oh, yes, baby. Oh, yes, baby. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Come here, baby. Come here, baby. Come here, baby. Oh, yes. Yo, yee! Yeah. All right, guys, look at her. Pulled another one, another one out, you guys, on the donkey rig, guys. This here's a little bit bigger than the last one here, guys. Nice bass, beautiful bass, guys. It's getting dark on us, too. Good time to pull one out, guys. Remember, guys, every day is a great day, guys, to get out and let's go fishing, guys. Yee! Yeah. All right, guys, y'all just seen me pull up that third bass out of here with the donkey rig, guys. No doubt it works. Great rig, guys. I'm very, like I say, very, very uh, <laughs> satisfied, like I say, with the rig and everything, guys, especially the quality bass we got today. Caught three nice bass today. The day still ain't over. I'm still doing some more fishing, guys. But like I say, if you, if you like watching me fish, guys, go down right now, give this video a like, guys. Subscribe to my channel, and I'll be coming out with more great videos, detailed videos, you know, about, you know, my days out fishing, guys. Like I say, this is day 70 of straight fishing for me, guys. Day 70 of straight fishing, guys. Like I say, Hopefully, like I say, we can learn from each other here on this here channel, guys. Like I say, drop any of your comments below, something that you would like to see me do or something to make my fishing experience kind of better, you know what I'm saying, to make yours kind of better. We're here to learn from each other, guys. And like I say, in the meantime, guys, every day is a great day to get out and let's go fishing, guys. We're about to get back at right, it. guys, we got the boat. The boat's loaded up, guys. It's kind of dark out here. We're going to hightail it to the house, guys. Today's been a good day of using the donkey rig, guys. We got three nice bass. Pulled three nice bass up out the pond here for y'all today, this evening, guys, with maybe an hour, hour, hour and a half of fishing. So I think I did pretty good, guys. Like I say, we uh, found, a, found a good little pattern there or good or, or a nice spot where the bass was holding out. I wish I'd have spent more time in that area instead of kind of cruising the bank more. I wish I'd have spent more time in that area where the fish was at. You know what I'm saying? But uh hope y'all enjoyed this video, guys. Like you say, if you enjoy, you know, enjoy things like this here, guys, the videos that I make, you know, give me a like on this here video, guys. Subscribe to my channel and go through my videos, guys. I got more videos, like I say, on my channel. You can go to my channel and watch some of my past videos that I did, you know what I'm saying, of fishing, guys, like I say. And uh, leave me some questions down below if you got any questions for me or anything like that there. Or any tips, guys. I take some tips. If y'all got some tips y'all want to throw on me, guys, throw them at me, guys. Like I say, I'm all up for it. But, uh, but in the meantime, guys, we're going to get off here. It's time to eat something. And, and, and like I always say, guys, any day's a great day to get out and let's go fishing, guys. We'll see y'all on the next one.